guys welcome to the next video in the SEO for businesses course and in this video I'll quickly be going over how to build your site and set it up in order to maximize your conversions and maximize your rankings in the search engines so to begin with the technique that I'll be teaching you over the course of the next few minutes would be how to build your site in a silo structure where to buy your articles live example of a good site that is currently converting well for a person keyword density and keyword density is basically the amount of times you want the specific keyword you're trying to rank for to appear in your article and with the recent Google updates you want to make sure keyword density is around 1.5 to 2 percent I know there's people who say there should be like 5 to 10 percent would that would just get you a over optimization penalty from Google so basically for every 100 words you want to mention your keyword one to two times so I, um, if you don't understand what half the stuff means so far, don't worry, I'll explain it right now in the over the shoulder section of this video. So, begin with what is a silo structure. A silo structure is basically a way of interlinking the pages on your site to optimize the amount of link juice that is in that you to link juice so that it increases your rankings. If that made no sense yet. Don't worry, I'll have a quick diagram pulled up for you. So if you go in and Google, and let me just find a good one for you guys. Something like this. This is basically each one of these, let me pull up the full image. Each one of these arrows is a link. One second, this is not a good example actually. I like this one better. So each one of these arrows is a link. This is the home page. So for the example of this video, I'll be using the plumbing example. So let's assume we're in the plumbing niche. And each one of these silo pages is just different sub niches. So this could be like faucet leakage, and this could be sewage, this could be shower fixing bathroom problems some each one of these like a different topic and then each one of the posts under the pages are like a topic related to the silo page so if this one was bathroom problems they could have faucet leakage bathtub leakage and so whatnot for the post this is stuff you just have to come up with or you already came up with using the previous videos that I've um, made for you guys so what this basically is is the home page is linking to each one of these pages and this page is linking to this and linking to this linking to this linking to this and I would also take this one step further and link the last page in each silo to back to the home page so it creates an endless loop so when you build a backlink let's say to your home page the link juice is passed around throughout your entire site not just that page itself which helps tremendously in rankings and you can also mess with the structures there are different types of silo structures like as you can see this one is just going from silo pages to the post this one is going from the home page to the silo and then this all the way up to the second silo and this goes to the third silo so just mess with it it doesn't matter as long as you have a silo structure in place in your site to keep the link just flowing you should be fine where to buy the articles um, so articles are you can either write them yourself or head on over to a site called iWriter.com I personally use this site a lot like this is my go-to place for articles I'll go ahead and log in real quick so I can show you exactly how to order an article from here Alright, so um, how to use iWriter? This is basically of a site where you can get cheap articles written by somewhere in the Philippines or India, but it doesn't matter because you can select the quality of the articles you want. So you go ahead and click on Get Content up here, and then have articles written in a quick description, your category, how long your article should be. I usually go for 500, and here's uh, you just want to go ahead and I just click basic it doesn't matter and writing style and I usually click basic 
because my art, I don't use I usually write my own articles and these are just first pages I don't really care about but if you are using this for the homepage site I would suggest that you go for at least like the premium or elite because base basic would mean anyone would, would they be able to see your requests and that includes good writers and bad writers because there are some writers on here which sound really uh, like their writing sounds like it has an accent or it's not really good English and you want to have really good English especially for the home page of your site so I would like I would consider dropping $30 for an article just for the home page because that's that's what's basically going to convert and then you enter your keywords the purpose of the articles special instructions you can go ahead and mention that you do want your keyword density your density to be no more than 1.5 to 2 percent and you can ignore this part and then you just click submit project and then you pay for your article and then lastly I want to show you a live example of a good site that you should emulate and this is a plumbing site near Chicago and as you can see it has a great call to action like right here find your roto plumber enter your city zip code their phone number is over here visible on all pages uh, have the online scheduling so, and I'll also show you the silo structure in action. So this is the home page of the site. If you go down here, it says residential plumbing. That's their silo topic one. If you go down here, it's plumbing basics, and then kitchen plumbing tips, and then they have all these links on the side, which is obviously helping the silo more. And then they have home which again is a silo going back to their home page creating that analyst loop which I talked about earlier and this site is doing extremely well in the search engines it's ranking in the top five for a lot of big terms in the Chicago land area related to plumbing so when creating a site I'm not going to go over how to create a site from scratch from WordPress and whatnot because there's tons of other courses for that and honestly it, I don't like this course is just for SEO for businesses and teaching you how to create a WordPress site from scratch would be an entirely another course in itself. So that's it for this video guys. See you guys in the next one. Bye bye.